Hi, I'm Dave with Louette. I'm in the mobile showroom and we're going to do a short video on TechSolve cord, how to cut it, uh, how to put it over top of the screw head, um, how to uh, bind on it onto itself in order to create the uh, tie-on connection with the, uh, with the lamb uh, and a couple of other helpful hints. When cutting TechSolve cord, the end can fray as it has okay so you can see that little fuzz coming off you can see the end is fraying and in order to prevent that from unraveling when you're using the cord you need to singe the end and I've got a, a lighter here uh, so a lighter or this is a barbecue lighter um, something like that a match will work but you need to singe the end Here I've now singed the end and it's a hard, harder uh, plastic now and it won't come undone. Second thing to know is that first loop after the singe. So in a, a piece of Texolf, you've got individual loops one after the other. Okay, and I can put my Apple Pencil through that, that loop to make it more dominant. This is a loop as well, the very end loop here. Okay. However, the end loop is close to the cut line in a singe, and that's weak. So we don't want to use that last uh, loop. Okay, so always go one loop further so you have a good solid connection that hasn't been weakened by the singeing process or the cutting process. So for, uh, to attach the uh, uh, tie-up cord on the spring or the David loom, we loop the cord uh, through itself. So you get one end that has been singed and you open up a, uh, a loop a little bit and you just push that cord through like that so now it's looping itself through now you can and this would be so simulate my finger simulates the uh, the uh, lamb and then you would just tighten this up on the lamb and and when you get it in the groove on your on your lamb give it a good tug and that just tightens it up and you can see my, <laughs> my finger tightening up but that just gives it uh, uh, a little bit of tightness so that um, it doesn't slide around uh, from side to side as you're weaving. If you leave it a little bit looser like this, it will slide on your lamb. So just give it a good tug like that. Another uh, device that we use is uh, this little Texolf spacer. And so that uh, fits through the uh, the loop of the Texolf cord and the way it's shaped, uh, it allows it to stick inside that uh, loop. And basically when you put it inside a loop, as I'm doing here now, okay, this is a spacer inside a loop. And what it does is it shortens that cord by one millimeter. So when you're trying to tension uh, uh, the Texolf cord on your David Loom or uh, on the Mugato on, on any of our, uh, any Texolf cord that you need to shorten, uh, you can put these spacers in place to shorten the, your cord one millimeter per spacer. So you can use multiple spacers. And that's how on the David 1 and David 2, we uh, recommend tensioning uh, your lamb cords, your lamb to the bottom harness bar connection. Uh, using these spacers. The last thing I want to show you on uh, with Texolf is how to attach a Texolf to a piece of Texolf to a screw head. We use this connection in spring loom treadles and David loom treadles on our uh, warp beam uh, uh, beams, cloth beam, and warp beam. And that's what I have here is a Mugato uh, cloth beam. 
and so the screw is, is uh, inserted so that it's sticking out a little bit and you simply take the Texoff cord and you I do it from this side and you push it over top of that loop. Now see that I didn't use the last loop. The last loop is here. Second loop goes over top and then it's a good solid connection and that'll hold uh, a lot of weight, a lot of tension. So it's just, a, it just if you're using a fresh loop here, I would put, put it uh, on the edge like that. Try to get it so the camera can see this. Put it on the edge so you just start to see the silver of the of the um, screw through the loop and then just with your other finger push it around like that and that is the uh, Texolf uh, video uh, if you have any other questions about uh, Texolf or connecting anything on the Louette Loom, uh, send us a, uh, an email at support, and that is support at louette.zendesk.com. Thanks.